So most of the time we start off our evening by eating dinner and this is actually kind of early for us to eat dinner because sometimes we eat dinner at 10 o'clock especially when Chelsea's over because then our time just starts set off. So then after dinner I decided I wanted to drink some coke because I was thirsty. And uh... So after that I just sat down to digest. Sounds gross but we all gotta do it, let's be honest. So I just kinda played on my phone for a little bit. So then we decided we wanted to film and this is like behind the scenes and yeah we have so many lights just because like we need it was dark and we filmed for four hours so I mean there was no light outside. <coughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Sorry about that but I just sneeze. <laughs> Anyways I will hop in the shower next and I'm using my Pantene Pro V conditioner and the matching shampoo obviously. Then my Pure Paradise from Bath and Body Works and to remove my makeup I'm using my Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. So while Jillian's taking a shower, I took a laptop and started just watching some YouTube videos because who wouldn't want to do that? So once I'm out of the shower, I'm taking my Nivea Aqua Effect Moisturizer, my EOS Lip Balm, and my Aloe Vera Body Butter from The Body Shop. So for BJ's, I'm just wearing these little slippers that I got from our jeans. They're really fuzzy, by the way. And then my and my top are both from Blue Notes, and you guys can read what my shirt says. It's pretty amazing. And since my house is always cold, I'm just taking this kind of fuzzy this kind of sweater thing, and I got it from Superstore. So now I hopped into the shower because I want to feel clean. Now for my hair, I'm just taking my Herbal Essence Smoothing Serum and my Garnier Anti-Frizz Serum and just kind of applying it to my hair because my hair is kind of crazy if I don't put it in it. Put it in it? What? After that, I'm just brushing it all through my hair to make sure it's evenly distributed. And unfortunately, she cut out the best part where she brushed her hair with the back of the brush. Yeah, uh, about that. <laughs> And then next I'm going to be blow drying my hair so that it's not all like poofy and frizzy and then it also saves time and I don't have to sleep on wet hair. Next I'm going to be taking my Vital Sassoon Hair Protectant Spray and just kind of applying that throughout my hair. So for my PJs I am wearing these fuzzy pants from Blue Notes and my top I actually don't know where I got, sorry. And I just realized we actually like really like Blue Notes. Even yeah. though mine aren't actually meant to be PJs. <laughs> So, no, I did not apply that heat protected spray for nothing. As you guys can see, I'm straightening my hair so it wasn't completely useless. And I'm just braiding my hair because I find that doing that will make my hair less tangled in the morning and I also wanted it curly for tomorrow. If you ever need someone. So basically, I just braided the side of my head all the way down to the ends. And if you guys want a tutorial on that, I can definitely do that for you. So leave a comment down below. So then I headed downstairs and I made a tea and I made orange pico by the way. I love tea but today I was feeling some hot chocolate so that's what I did. I don't know about you guys but I find that if you put like sugar and like milk or cream into your tea it tastes like a hundred times better so that's exactly what I did and I do that every single time I have tea. Literally every single night I will write in my journal for hours on end so that's exactly what I did and I don't know what I did to my pen there but that was really cool. Oh, and I also like to read through old journals, and funny little fact here, I actually found some old photos of Chelsea and I in this journal, I don't know why they were there. So here's a little bit of a throwback for you guys. Oh, jeez. So, who wouldn't drink some hot chocolate with some whipped cream and some chocolate syrup and a peppermint stick? And uh, while she's doing that, I am reading Looking for Alaska by John Green. She really wasn't kidding when she says she literally writes hours on end and she's eating again. At least it's healthy, like come on. <laughs> so by this point, we're just getting ready for bed. We brought everything down to the basement because that's where we usually sleep.
by this point, we usually just start editing videos and stuff like that. So coming up is basically what happens every single time we talk and this is a part of what goes on. So coming up, you are going to see Chelsea and I fighting over the blanket, and no joke, this happens every single night. You're annoying. Dude! 